mark the new Integrex i200 ST AG. Now, this is a new development of Integrex, the next generation, if you like, in regards to gear manufacturing here at Mazak. Why have you gone to the 10th degree to develop a machine just for, or predominantly for, gear manufacturing? Well, this is a response to the marketplace for manufacturers wishing to produce gears, but also wishing to produce gears with, with, with accuracy. And to perform high-speed gear manufacturing, the machine needs to be really, really accurate and incorporate several technological features that will deliver that. So, how is the accuracy achieved? How do you achieve that speed and accuracy on this new Integrex? We achieve it by very accurate synchronisation between the turning spindle in C-axis operation and the milling, the milling spindle. And we do that by a manner of software, but also with some hardware in, in to the scale feedback. And what kind of gears is this capable of manufacturing and to what tolerances? Well, that's an interesting question there. We have three specialized gear disciplines on this machine. So we have smooth gear milling, which allows us to generate a, a gear form by using a simple end mill. The next is a smooth gear hobbing, which allows us then to, to generate a gear form using a hobbing cutter. And the third one is smooth gear skiving, which allows us to generate um, either an internal or an external gear form using a high-speed skiving operation up to the machine speed of 5,000 RPM. Now, in regards to gear manufacturing, we've been manufacturing gears for many years, but what has created the demand to make a machine specifically around this process? Well, the number of gears being produced in the world today is increasing. There are obvious reasons by that. We have the advent of the electronic vehicle, we have the changes within the aerospace industry, and the engines, and also in, in, in the energy field as well. But customers are finding that the gears that they're producing are more and more complex. So it's not just a case of producing a gear form, but also the other parts as well. This makes that machine very interesting because it's a full multitasking machine. It's able to perform both turning, milling, and five axis. We can have gear, gear components that are very complex in form being produced by those disciplines with the added benefits of the gear machining as well. So you're creating more complex gears. How are they inspected? Well, again, on the machine we've taken care of that. So we have two different inspection methods. We have an in-phase detection, so we can detect the position of previously machined gears, but also we have a, a smooth gear check function. By using a, a, a sprint probe, we can at high speed generate a, an inspection profile that is similar to what you'd receive off a CMM for a gear, gear inspection report. So again, it's saving another operation. Well, it is, but it's also ensuring the accuracy of the gears. Whilst the gear is on the machine, we can inspect it, we can take any corrective action. The previous method would have involved removing the gear from the machine and inspecting it later. And by that stage, it's too late to make any adjustments. Now, in regards to the complexity of gears again, I'll go back to that. You know, with them becoming more complex, you know, is the programming also becoming more complex? Well, you raise a key factor there because what we've seen is um, a number of gear manufacturers wishing to take gear manufacturing from traditional gear machines onto multitasking machines. Now, that in itself is, is, is interesting, but it also proposes, uh, uh, presents challenges to the end user because those skills are not something that's normally occupied by a standard uh, CNC machinist. So what we've done is to work to create a, a specialized GUI that means we can program either smooth gear milling, gear hobbing and gear skiving very quickly using a conversational interface in less than 10 minutes. Would you say then that this machine really lends itself to a multitude of applications, you know, that have gears on them, high volume and low volume? And what are the benefits of doing it all in one rather than on several machines? Well, the number of components uh, through putting through, through a, uh, a workshop is, is interesting. Moving it from one machine to another takes time. You get workpiece stacked up in process, but also there's a loss of accuracy. Every time you have to move a component from one machine to another, you have to ensure that accuracy. And the run out for a gear is crucial. So to be able to machine the, the blank, 
on the machine and then produce the gear form means that you eliminate that loss of accuracy normally experienced when transferring parts between machines.